Hey YouTube, Make Mind Marvel here with a uh, another <clears throat> uh, unboxing for uh, some CGC comics I just got back. Now I've got a few um, uh, value uh, Silver Bronze Age stuff, and uh, then I got a box of um, modern stuff. They both came back today, so I'm just gonna make one video and and just put them on both. But I got the boxes opened up, so we don't have to waste any time. Um, and uh, so first off here, we have Tales to Astonish, which is the first Wasp at a 3.5. Really, really cool book. Really happy to have this in my collection. And then the next one we have is uh, Fantastic Four Annual 6. It's the first Nihilus and Franklin Richards. And lastly in this box have Avengers 83. Here's the uh, the first appearance of the Liberators. Really, it's, uh, you know, Valkyrie um, and then her team there. And uh, got a 9-0 on this one. So super happy with this grade. Real nice, high grade, real pretty book. All right, let's move this box out of the way, and we'll get into this box here of modern stuff. So, first one we're pulling out here is going to be the boys, had a 9-2 with white pages. And then here we got a Venom number nine, first appearance of Dylan. Uh, at nine eight, this is the variant, the animation edition. Uh, this book's going for really big money in nine eight, so super happy to get this back. Uh, no plans on selling it, um, but it's just really nice to have this book in this in in this condition in my collection. I've got two more uh, raw uh, ones of these. This book, this variant. So uh, I'll probably send them in down, you know, then in as well to be graded. Um, I think they should at least get nine sixes as well. Here I got the Immortal Hulk number two at a nine six. First appearance of Dr. Fry. This one, uh, all these modern books, um, I happen to pick off the shelf myself. Um, so these books all came out of my pull list at one point um, and just getting around to grading them now that's probably the reason right there why it didn't get a uh, right above the staple why it didn't get a 9.8 <laughs> little tick another book that super happy to get this grade at 9.8 spawn number one uh, so first appearance of Spawn, but not just any Spawn number one. It is the newsstand edition. So very rare book, uh, low print run on the newsstand, and uh, very hard to, to find and to get in a 9.8. So again, another, another very valuable modern book. Marvel Premiere, uh, number 28 here, 7.5. I honestly thought this would be a little bit better grade. It's not in the best condition, but I didn't, you know, I thought it would be somewhere in the 8s. Um, 
just a super cool cover. Really love this book. You know, first Legion of Monsters. You know, it's one of the reasons why it didn't get a higher grade. The little chip out the top. Cool, cool book. And then in Exiles number three. This is that gamer variant as well. Here's a book I wish I bought more copies of when, uh, but this was my one and only copy that I picked up off my, you know, pull list when it first came out and decided to get it graded. So I definitely got a good one. Uh, came at a nine, eight, but man, wish I grabbed more copies of this. Got a nice first print and the, the variant to this, I think it's a one out of 25 variant that goes for huge money. So this is uh, the comic I'm most excited about in uh, in this box right here. This is the So Much Fun um, variant, second printing variant for uh, Uncanny X-Men 221, the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. Um, came back at a 9.6. So uh, this is the highest graded on CGC. There are no 9.8s graded on this book and uh or nine nines or ten o's and uh this is one of only three that are graded that has received a nine six so super rare book super hard to get in a high grade this so much fun uh down here it was part of a three pack of comics that was distributed like toys r us and uh and i think probably a few other retailers but you know they were just there was no no backing, you know, no boards or anything to back the books to keep them from getting all torn up. So um, these books got heavily damaged. Uh, and again, just by if you look at the census, it shows how hard it is to get this book in a, in a high grade. And uh, I've actually been pressing uh, books for a little bit now. And uh, this was the grade originally on this book. So it was originally at a 7.5. And you can see I got this graded a long time ago when it was the older labels um and uh i ended up cracking it open and pressing it and it went from a seven five to a nine six uh that is a ridiculously silly jump in grade um when i received it back at a seven five honestly like I didn't think it deserved the 7.5 back then. I thought it was much higher just before it got pressed. And uh, I'm glad to to kind of get uh, validated in my opinion that it came back at a 9.6 with a, with a press. And, and, you know, I'm pretty proud of myself of being able to press it. And here's another one as well. Let me get rid of the invoice. And... The advertisement that they put in the bag here. Come on. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. All right. So this is first appearance of Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Avengers 196, got this at a 9.6, white pages. And uh, you know what? Same exact story uh, as the previous book um, with regards to pressing and cracking. So, where is it? There it is. Boom. That was the grade I received on this book.
before I cracked it open and pressed it. So another 7.5 to 9.6 jump. Um, again, no idea why this book received a 7.5 to begin with. It was in super nice condition. Um, and uh, I was looking at it through the case when it came back rated at 7.5 and said, all right, I'm going to press this. And uh, bam, big, big jump, big jump. Went from being, uh, you know, at a 7.5 to, you know, I don't know, maybe a $20, $30 book. It's probably cost more to grade it when you get it at a 7.5 to uh, a 9.6 being well worth the uh, the fees in uh, in getting it regraded for the value-wise. There's another uh, Bloodstone number one. First appearance of Elsa Bloodstone, 9.8. Um, I'm pretty happy this came back in a 9.8. I thought it would be closer to a 9.6. I just thought I saw some scuffing and stuff on this. But, uh, you know, maybe I didn't. But this is a, uh, a book with a huge amount of potential right here. Um, if they ever do anything with Elsa Bloodstone. She's just a really cool character anyways. Uh you know, she's a pretty badass character. Doesn't take any uh, lip from anybody. And she's got, uh, she she's very fond of cursing uh, a lot. So she's a fun character to read um, and what they do with her in the comics. Here we have a uh, Venom first host number three second printing at a nine eight. Uh, this is the first appearance of Sleeper. And that second printing, uh, you know, it's the first time Sleeper's on the cover. And uh, and low print run, real valuable book at a 9.8. And uh, not that easy to get either. This is super psyched. <laughs> I felt like my moderns got graded uh, a lot more liberally than um, my values that got graded uh, not just this round, but the round right before. Um, you know, I, they seem to be graded fairly harshly, but I uh, still got some pretty decent stuff. Spectacular Spider-Man 64, first cloak and dagger. Got this on a 9.6. can see there uh, on the spine right down here there's a little tick but this was a nice upgrade I think the I have another one of these and it's at like a six five or something like that so I definitely wanted a better book so found that raw Picked it up and glad it came back at a 9.6. It is a first Carnage, Apocalypse uh, at the nine six. And then last but not least. First appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider, Thanos number 13 and a 9-8. Um, I got one more, one other one to these great at a 9-8 as well, and that one's signed by Donny Cates. So pretty happy to now have two of these bad boys. All right, well, let's, uh, let's stop this video uh, just 
just over 15 minutes it looks like all right hey everybody thanks for watching really appreciate the uh the likes and the interest in the videos and i uh, hope you all have a great night take care Bye bye